I am so glad that the Lord had compassion on me. The Lord is full of mercy and full of love, and he has compassion on us. It says in Exodus 15, 26, I am the God that healeth thee. You know, I know that personally. I know it, and I will give you uh, uh, a testimony in, in a few moments about the compassion and the healing of the Lord. It is here for us today. I was reading from Exodus. It was under the Old Covenant. God said, I am the God that healeth thee. You know, he brought the, uh, the Israelites out of Egypt, out of bondage. And he said, none of these diseases that the Egyptians, uh, that come upon the Egyptians are going to come upon you. You know, and that's where, where we are today. Because we even have a better covenant with better promises through the blood of Jesus Christ. And so I want to talk with you today about the compassion of the Lord for healing. You know, God is love. And God does not want any one of us to suffer. He does not bring harm on us. He does not allow evil things to come to accomplish the good in our lives. You know, I've heard people say, well, he brought this upon me, this sickness or this disease. I wonder what he's trying to teach me. See, this is a deception and a lie from the enemy that as long as a person will accept what the enemy tries to come and put on them, then they will keep that thing. They will keep cancer. They will keep diabetes. They will keep uh, sickness and disease, migraine headaches, back aches, uh, digestive difficulties, uh, heart problems. They will keep arthritis. They will keep all of those things because they think that the Lord is trying to teach them something. You know, it says in, in the book of John that the Holy Spirit was sent when Jesus ascended back to the Father. He sent the Holy Spirit to teach us and to be our helper. Now, that's where we get our teaching, from the Holy Spirit. We do not get it from now. God can turn any bad situation in our life. He can turn any disease or any uh, calamity in our life, He can turn it for good. Why? Because He is a good God. He is a God of compassion. He is a God of healing. Oh, can you say amen? I know some of you are already shouting, uh, praise the Lord, hallelujah. And you go right ahead uh, because Jesus is our healer. And Jesus is... We have cut covenant with Jesus Christ, and his blood has covered us. We are covered with the blood of Jesus. You know, it says in the Old Testament that his mercies are new every morning. And every morning we can get up and we can say, Lord, you are the God that healeth me today. You are the God that is bringing me mercy today. Can you say amen? That is so good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for having compassion on us. If you will, I'd like for you to turn uh, to, uh, well, 1 Peter uh, 2.24. This is the new covenant under the blood of Jesus Christ. And it says here, 1 Peter 2.24, who his own self, that was Jesus, bore our sins in his own body on the tree, on the cross, that we, being dead to sin, being dead to sin, I want that to jump out and just just grab hold of it and catch hold of it and run with it because you are dead to sin. The sin has no longer dominion over you. Oh, glory. I can say glory to that. That's what it says in Romans chapter 6, verse 14, that sin no longer has dominion or rule over you, over your body, over your mind. It says, being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, who is our righteousness, but Jesus Christ, by whose stripes you are, you were healed. You were healed. When Jesus went to the cross 
and the blood gushed out of his back because of the stripes that they put on his back. Do you know they put 39 stripes and every disease known to man at this particular point uh, in time falls under one of those categories. So one of those stripes was for whatever uh, has the enemy has tried to come and put on your body. Uh, you know, the other day I was uh, I saw a man that um, about two years ago, uh, the Lord uh, had me touch his heart. I knew nothing about the man. I did not know the man. But the Lord said, we were in a meeting, and the Lord said to me, uh, just lay your hand on his heart. And so I just reached over and I laid my hand upon his heart and he, he jumped like he had uh, been, um, like a bolt of electricity had gone through his body and, and he got up and he said, I know the Lord just healed me. He had congestive heart failure. And the doctors, he was on oxygen, he, was, uh, he had a wheelchair over to the side. I didn't know all of that until uh, later on. He was telling me his story. He said, I was on oxygen and I was in a wheelchair and Jesus came and healed me that day and made my heart whole and now the doctors have given him a clean bill of health and said, your heart is functioning and pumping at a hundred percent. I say glory to the Lord forevermore. He is the healer. He is the one that has compassion on us. I want you to turn with me if you have your Bibles to Luke chapter 10. I get excited about healing because I know that the Lord has had compassion on me. Luke chapter 10. It says, A certain man went down to Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, and they stripped him and left him for half dead. I want to get on down here uh, for, uh, for just a second here. We know the priest went by and the Levite went by and they did not stop. They did not help this man. You know, religion cannot help you. Religion is man, is made by man. And man cannot heal you. And man cannot, uh, you know, yes, I do believe that the, the Lord uses doctors to do this and that. And, and But Jesus Christ, all healing comes from the Lord. I don't care what they do. You can say, oh, it was the medicine. No, it wasn't the medicine. All healing has been bought at a price of Jesus' blood, and he has compassion on you today. It says here, they went by, and they did not stop to help him, but then a certain Samaritan, and we know in the name of Jesus that this, this Samaritan that Jesus is talking about is his self. Himself, he is talking about that he is the healer. As he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for your compassion today. I'm standing here. I'm doing this video today. I am alive today because the Lord had compassion on me. And I received his healing that he had purchased at the cross. I received it into my body. It was the, the, the 30th of December that I got a phone call. Uh, that was about almost 18 years ago. Uh, the phone call came and I had been uh, doing tests and, and the they phone call came and the doctor said, uh, Miss White, uh, I am sorry to tell you, but, but you have terminal cancer. And if you live six months, it will be a surprise to me and to the other doctors on this case. They, he said, we're going to do surgery on you, and if uh, we're going to try to get it all out of your thyroid. And if we can't get it all, and if it's in the lymph nodes, uh, there's not even time enough to give you chemo. And that was a shock. It was a shock to me. And... And so I began to, um, they said, you won't sing, you won't teach any longer. Uh, and so I went, I hung up the phone, and I went looking for my husband who was out walking and praying. And I found him, 
And he got in the car and I said, they tell me that I have terminal cancer and I only have six months to live. And his remark to me, his comment to me, we have the victory. You know, it says in 2 uh, Corinthians 2.14, Now thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph. God is the God that healeth us, and God is the God that healeth me. And he had compassion on me. He woke me up one morning after that phone call. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning, and he gave me a scripture. He spoke a scripture to my heart, and it was, You shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. And that's in Psalms 118. And I said, yes, that's my scripture. I'm going to hang on to the word of God because Jesus is my healer. And it says, I, you know, I, I read all of the scriptures and, and I quoted the scriptures and I confessed the scriptures. And But when it all came down to it, God had compassion on me and his love penetrated that cancer and burned it up and destroyed it because when they went in uh, on January 21st, they went in and they cut me open from one side to the other and they said they could not find any cancer. Why is that? Because the Lord had compassion on me. Thank you, Jesus. Every day that I get up, I get up praising Him for life itself. It says that the, the Samaritan had compassion on this man. And he went to him and he bound up his wounds and he poured in the oil and the wine. Now, the oil is the anointing. The oil is that part of, of God that destroys every yoke. The anointing destroys every yoke. That's what it says in Isaiah. It, that the, the oil, the anointing, destroys every yoke. It doesn't just put it on hold. It doesn't just get rid of it for a little while. It destroys it. It burns it up. And then he took wine. Now wine stands for joy. And he put some joy in that man that was left, left for half dead. You know, the enemy left me for half dead. But God came along and he poured in the oil and he poured in the wine and he gave me some joy and he gave me some strength. Hallelujah! It says that he put him on his beast and he took him to an inn. He took care of him. How many of you know that God wants to take care of you? He wants to destroy whatever is in your body that does not need to be there. Whatever is in your mind uh, that does not need to be there. He wants to destroy uh, bipolar. He wants to destroy manic depressive. He wants to destroy panic attacks and anxiety. He wants to destroy anything that is not of him. That your whole spirit, soul, and body may be preserved blameless until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I say I get excited about healing because healing is in our family and healing has gone through uh, every one of us in my husband, in our daughter, who was, uh, they told us at 14 months was going to die because she had no immunity system and the compassion of the Lord came into our living room one night and a bright light uh, shined down upon her and gave her an immunity system. Both of our sons have been healed by the Lord. God's compassion to heal you is here right now, right where you are. The, uh, God is healing eyes right now. God is healing eyes. Eyes that have been burning and hurting and and you can't see very well out of one of your eyes. God is touching those eyes right now. Oh, just receive his compassion. Receive it right now. Because it's going forth out of me like virtue. It's going out of me like energy uh, from on high. That compassion uh, to heal you and make you whole. He's healing 
lower back difficulties. He's healing necks right now. Oh, he's healing uh, tension in the body. Uh, those of you that have been having difficulty with your blood pressure, God is, is bringing that to stability uh, in Jesus' name. I see it being done. I see these things. I see the Lord healing today. I see the Lord's compassion uh, going. See, there's no, there's no distance and there's no time frame uh, for God's compassion and healing. And just because I'm, uh, uh, you're seeing me on a video right now doesn't mean uh, that God is not doing what he's doing. It's transcending all of those natural things. God is touching uh, a woman who has, they've just, you've just been diagnosed with a brain tumor. And the Lord is destroying that brain tumor. Please, before they do any surgery, you go back and you ask them to do another uh, scan on your brain. Because the, the tumor I see is drying up right now. Disintegrating with the fire of God. And the compassion of God is going into your brain. I see a, a person who has difficulty with one of their ears. You were injured uh, when you were a small child. Some type of, it was either a baseball or some type of ball uh, hit your ear and destroyed part of your inner ear. And it's a difficult uh, for you to hear. And God is mending and restoring. Uh, he's having compassion on that ear right now and healing it in Jesus' name. You say, well, how do you know all these things? I only know them by the Spirit of God. That's how I know them. I give the Lord all the praise for being the healer. I give the Lord all the praise for having compassion on me and having compassion on you. He's no respecter of persons. If you find any person in the Bible that was healed by Jesus Christ, then he will heal you because he's no respecter of persons. He will do it for you. And he's already touched those areas that I have called out. I thank you so much for viewing this video today. I pray that it will have impact because healing is so important in our, in our bodies, in our minds, and that we cannot wait until we get sick. Uh, to act upon the scriptures that say, I am the God that healeth thee. Then it might be too late. So begin to just confess healing over yourself. Confess healing over your family. Confess healing over your friends. Uh, begin to uh, just speak it out of your mouth. Because we're justified or condemned by the words of our, of our mouth. And when we speak life, life comes. And when we speak death, death comes. God is a God of compassion. To heal you and to deliver you this day. Thank you for viewing.